Today we're going to look at uh, working a regression analysis on your TI-84 and we're going to use a problem uh, from your book, it's example 8 on page 181 and uh, it's talking about an object uh, that's, that's following uh, projectile motion uh, with gravity and so what we want to do is enter and plot the data find a regression model that fits the problem, superimpose the graph of the regression on the scatter plot, and observe the fit. And, and you'll be able to tell if it's a fairly good fit or not. And then we're going to use the regression model to make some predictions uh, about what we see in the problem. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this information right here from the table. And uh, what we've got is um, time and height. Time and seconds, height and, and meters. And what we want to do is put that into a list. So uh, hit the stat key and choose edit. And when you do that, uh, if you've got any information in your list, like I've got some old information here, I can just highlight the list and hit the clear key and hit enter. And when I do that, it'll clear the list out. Uh, don't hit the delete button. Delete will take your list completely off and then, then we've got to put it back on, which is a different set of steps. So well, let's just go ahead and enter into list 1 all the x coordinates. We'll list it, enter into list 2 all the y coordinates. And for our purposes, time will be x and height will be y. And fill that list up. Double check to make sure that you get uh, all the um, numbers correct. Sometimes it can be a little tricky as you're going. And when you get done, you'll have uh, you will have filled nine spots. Arrow key to the right, and then put your y coordinates in. When you get done, you need to make sure that your lists are the same length. Or uh, as you start to go through and do some of your math, you will get an error message. Okay. When you're finished, we'll notice that we've got uh, two sets of data, and we'll notice that the data should be ending at the same time, and they do. And then just double check your points real quick and make sure that everything uh, matches up, and it looks like it does. And to run the regression analysis, what you'll need to do is go back to your home screen, so hit second and quit. And then when you're in your home screen here, uh, we'll hit the stat key again, and arrow key over to calculate. We want to calculate what's going on, and with projectile motion, usually you're going to be checking for um, uh, for quadratic fit. So choose five, and it'll run our quadratic regression. We also want to graph this and look at the graph and, and see how things work. So in order to get our graph ready, hit the VARS key, choose the Y VARS button, and choose function. And then we have all the different uh, places to put this. This is where you're going to look when you graph. So we'll, usually we'll want it in Y1, and today that's where we want to put it, and hit Enter. Now, if you've got the most current version of the 84 soft operating system, it will already prompt you through all of that, and um, and so it takes care of some of that for you. So here's what we get. We get y equals ax squared plus bx plus c with uh, a equal to negative 4.6764b. 
b equal to 3.7582 and c equal to 1.0449 and an r squared value of 0.999 and the r squared value tells you how good of a fit that you're you know you're looking at in this case it's really really close to 1 and since we have this r squared value that's just really close to 1 we know we've got a really good fit for our data uh, now hit the y equals button and we want to go and turn our stat plot on and the plot should be defaulted and ready to go so we'll go ahead and, and highlight plot one and hit enter and then we want to see the graph and this the scatter plot at the same time and if you just graph your calculator uh, it may or may not work out you might have something nice and you might not it depends on what your window settings are uh, so here are my window settings it's not necessarily the best picture when you're dealing with a scatter plot of information just hit that zoom key and then arrow down to zoom uh, stat or uh, you could just hit zoom 9 and when you do that it gets you a, a screenshot that is perfect for seeing all your scatter plot information and we can see that this parabola fits the information really well. Now some things that we want to know about the parabola, one of those things that we want to know is how high do we get with our projectile and that's at the top of this parabola. So we shot the projectile from here, it went forward, it went up, so where does it hit that maximum value? Well hit the second key and trace and choose maximum. We want to know what the maximum is. And to find a maximum you've got to tell the calculator where to look from left to right so wherever your spider ends up you want to arrow key left or right to get onto one side of the maximum on the left hand side of the maximum and then once you are on the left hand side hit enter and then arrow key across the top to the other side of the of the maximum height and notice the maximums in between these two points and go ahead and choose enter again and it'll ask you to guess and you can guess or not and you hit enter one more time and it tells us at 0.4 seconds in we hit a maximum height of 1.8 meters okay at 0.4 seconds in we hit a maximum height of 1.8 meters okay so that's good uh, some other information we might want to know is is where this graph crosses the y-axis well in order to see the y-axis we want to change our window just a little bit so just hit your window button and notice that your x-min goes from negative 0.86 to 1 we don't really need to change that guy too much but the y-min doesn't include the x-axis so what we can do is just arrow key down here to the y-minimum and let's just give it uh, something below the x-axis like negative 1 now when you graph it we should get the x-axis in there it's not a square window anymore so our parabola looks just a little bit different and does it show where it crosses the x-axis and it doesn't so you can change the window again and get it to one that you are more comfortable with let's say let's go out to uh, 3 So again, it's not a square window, so our parabola looks a little interesting, but that's okay. What we want to do is we want to find where the graph crosses the x-axis, and that is going to be our zero. So just like we found the maximum, we've got to start on the left-hand side of the zero. And so for me, that means I've got an arrow key to the right. I'm not sure where you, which way you'll have to do it, but the coordinates that you are located at are show on the bottom of your screen so we just need to get to the left of the zero and then arrow key and hit enter arrow key to the right of the zero and hit enter and hit enter one more time and it'll tell us right here here's our zero in other words our projectile shot up and fell down and it's got a zero uh, you know it hits the ground at 1.022 seconds after it was initially launched and so that's how you can find a maximum that's how you can find a zero 
and that's how you can graph a scatter plot and find a regression.